Hello there, everybody. I am Sylvana92, aka Nightmare, and welcome to a let's play of another Metroid 2 remake, Return of Sam. Welcome to Metroid Return of Sam, or AM2R. Yes, we are once again back in the delightful world that is Metroid. I have been waiting to get myself into another Metroid game, and it was a really tough choice between this and, um, Metroid Hunters. Uh, considering it's a DS game, it would probably be a little bit harder for me to emulate. Um, <clears throat> I mean, uh, play on legitimate hardware, because I actually do actually own a copy of it. Um, <clears throat> uh, so... Welcome! Um, of course, Thumbnail was created by the ever-so-talented Nerte. Big thank you to her as well. So, um, from what I understand, this is a fan remake of the OG, of an OG Metroid game, I believe. Uh, Metroid 2, I think? I believe that's the one that this is supposed to be a remake of. Regardless, I'm pretty sure people have been excited to finally get back into the frickin' Freezer voice that I've been revving up for Samus. Anyway, let us begin. I guess normal mode. I've been really looking for this. <clears throat> Metroid. Numerous incidents in the past have brought to light the highly destructive power of these life forms, spreading fear across all known planetary systems. Hoping to secure peace in the galaxy, the Galactic Federation orders the extermination of the Metroid species. I was the best candidate for the job. Didn't realize it was Samus speaking. <clears throat> of course, of course it would be her. Once again, I find myself standing alone against the Metroid menace. What horrors await me within the depths of their homeworld? Oh, I'm pretty sure we'll find out. <clears throat> Regardless, it has been quite some time. Alright, this looks really good. Ooh. Ooh, I'm hyped. Start off with missiles. Huh? Look at my jump. Let's see. What? Oh, that is cool. Okay, how do I? Oh wow, this is gonna feel weird. Oh, never mind. I can still do that. Okay, I can still do it this way. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I already feel like I'm playing um, either Super Metroid or actually with how fast it is. Yeah, with how fast it is, it kind of feels like I'm playing good old classic um, Zero Mission. Actually, you know what? Also, if you think about it, it's kind of like I'm playing good old uh, Metroid Fusion. Is there a way that I can change out the control scheme here? Okay, this is actually pretty cool. Okay, so... It looks like there are 55 Metroids on this planet, and I'm currently targeting one. Oh my god. Okay, so I start off with the Morph Ball already? Oh! Okay, um... Aiming style. Switch between Zero Mission and Super Metroid aiming style. Okay, um... Press up or down while aiming to choose direction. Hmm. Uh... Aim diagonally using two separate buttons. Hmm. Okay, I I'll try to get myself used to that, I guess. Classic Morph Ball, that would be da two down, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll figure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll tell me how to do that. Okay, um... 
Oh my god. Okay, okay, uh, I'll figure this stuff out later. More importantly, though... Cool. Oh man, this, this, I'm already liking this. Exterminate all Metroid organisms on planet SR388. Secondary objectives. Locate and bring assistance to the Galactic Federation research and rescue teams. Gladly. Planet SR388. Planetary designation SR388. A remote planet absent on most galactic charts. Federation research indicates it is the natural homeworld of the Metroid species. Its outer crust is hollowed out with massive cave systems, which are home to an ecosystem that is yet to be fully studied. The first expedition to SR388 revealed the existence of Chozo ruins. Okay. I keep, I keep, I keep hitting the wrong button like an idiot, I think. Maybe. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Research team. For years, the Federation declared SR388 unsafe to initiate new expeditions. However, after recent orbital scans failed to detect any Metroid presence on the planet's surface, the dispatch of a research vessel was finally approved. The crew's mission was to inspect the region where the species was first encountered and reaffirm that none remained. Their next objectives were to explore the nearby Chozo ruins and study SR388's other wildlife. Communication with the team was cut off and only a distress signal managed to reach HQ. Okay, so since this is like supposed to be a remake of like the earliest versions of Metroid, that probably means Space Pirate Jim is not a thing. So, damn. So much for that. The search and rescue team is an elite combat group consisting of heavily armed soldiers. Their mission? Locate and extract any surviving personnel from the missing research team. The group reporting, I'm sorry, reported finding a specialized energy sensor at a campsite of the missing team. Its data confirmed the Federation's suspicions. Metroids still thrived within the planet. These findings were sent to HQ to be analyzed while the group continued their search for survivors. Contact was soon lost with them as well. Oh dear. It would appear that they cannot handle the Metroids. After all, they are very dangerous individuals. Little creatures. And eh, they're cute as hell, I like them. The data sent to HQ revealed an approximate number of Metroids remaining on SR388, and was ultimately used to develop a scan module for your power suit. This allows the detection of nearby energy readings unique to the species. That is... nice to know. Oh my god, LOR! I missed you! The dominant species of SR388. Metroids hunt for any form of energy found in natural or synthetic organisms, leaving behind deceased husks after feeding. They are highly resistant to conventional weapons and possess great adaptability in foreign environments. Estimates suggest a small number of Metroids set loose on a populated planet would lead to the extinction of any present life forms. As such, they draw it. Much attention from space pirates, who have repeatedly tried to use them as biological weapons and potential pets. But then again, space pirate Jim hasn't made his appearance yet. The Chozo were an ancient and mysterious avian race. Incredibly advanced, they colonized many worlds, spreading their message of peace throughout the universe. There are historical records and legends of the Chozo visiting other races with whom they share their knowledge and wisdom. These brief encounters led many primitive cultures to their present day glory. Some say they helped consolidate the very foundations of the Galactic Federation. The fate of this race is unknown. Evidence suggests they slowly vanish from the cosmos over the course of centuries. All that remains on each planet they inhabited are the ruins of their once glorious civilization. Make species! Not much is known about SR388's ecosystem. Prior reports describe the fauna as being very hostile. Nearly all observed animals have been carnivores, with even the small species showing dangerous traits. The harsh environment and the presence of so many predators may have forced an evolutionary arms race, perpetuating a cycle of violence. Extreme caution is advised. Because of course... No, what's this? It's the map. Okay, okay, um... Damn. Ball! I am bull. I can't jump. I guess we don't have ball jump yet. This is gonna getting used to here, but... Oh, I just like this. I can, I can just back walk. Here we go, here we go. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. Ooh, 
Hello. Hold on. Also very nice having them be different colors here. Oh, that's if I want to get back up there. Okay. Damn, this, this, ah, God, I, I can already tell, like, ah, I, th I think I'm going to enjoy myself. Like, God, I, you can, you can barely tell this is a fan game. It already feels like a Metroid game. Hmm? Oh, hello. Well, regardless, that thing is dead now. I don't have to deal with that. Ow. I say as I immediately get hit. Yay. God damn it. Oh, okay. Sorry, I am just geeking out right now. I've just been wanting to play another Metroid game for so fucking long! Oh, okay. okay. I apologize if I'm geeking out a little bit, okay? <laughs> But can you blame me? This just feels so good. Ah, I fell. This just feels so good. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Calm down, Sova. Calm down. Ooh, that looks, that looks concerning. So from what I understand, this was made by like an entire, uh, oh. Cool. This is made like by a little small team or something like that. Um, uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll try to get as many credits as I possibly can in the description down below. Actually, I probably ask my friend Nova for this one. Um, but if there's like a few people that I miss in terms of crediting for development of this, uh, please let me know. Um, unless it's not a good idea for me to be doing that. I, I, I don't know, apparently. The history of this is that apparently Nintendo, um, like, wasn't too happy about the development of this. But then again, fuck Nintendo. Um, so, uh, God, I'm, I'm like, oh, oh, that's cool! It has like a little bit of a tutorial for people that don't know. Okay, that's nice. Um, God damn it, there's probably gonna be somebody that'll... Oh my god. An idol animation too? That is goddamn cool. Oh, well, why know where the safe spots are now? I'm sorry, like, let me get a better look at that. I'm sorry. I, w I want to see that idle animation again, please. Come on, Samus. Show it to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm geeking out so goddamn much right now, okay? It's just... <sighs> This is just oh Okay, calm down. Okay. Get into Metroid mode, get into Metroid mode. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, come on. Scanning bio phone. Whoa! Oh. I I ran away. I'm I'm bad. Okay, um, ugh. the Alpha Metroid has gained immunity to cold temperatures. The loss of sev several nuclei within its green membrane has left it vulnerable to concussive weaponry. A plated exoskeleton partially covers it. This organism emerges from the molten molting of its larval form. Though aggressive, it is relatively weak at this stage, and its new appendages have yet to grow to their full length and strength. Okay, okay, I I'm gonna break stuff. That was easy. Very fast moving, though. Well.
Hello? The massive cave system is located between two tectonic plates, largely flooded by an extremely dense and caustic substance similar to magma. The recent earthquake has altered the cave layout, and the hazardous substances has drained to lower levels. The cause of the earthquake is unknown. Initial orbital scan of SR388 detected no instability within this region. So something's probably moving around causing this. If I had to guess. Yeah, it took me a little bit to get used to the combat here because I'm not used to hitting a certain button to do that. So... Oh well. Okay, so apparently if I... I... Oh! Was that always here? Yeah, it was. So, apparently... The area changes... Whenever I defeat... An enemy, I guess? Or... It, whenever I defeat a Metroid, I guess, I'm assuming. Well, alrighty, it's off to a damn good start. Let's just keep going. One down and a lot more to go. Oh, I can't go there anymore, can I? I'm assuming. Hello! Regardless, I'm going to keep going. This actually feels like real. Okay, this is like really fast paced, but it feels good doing it. No, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I did not, I did not mean to do that. That was a bit of an accident on my part. Sorry, I just. Can you tell I'm excited to play another Metroid game after this, after this length of time? I mean, don't get me wrong, like. I think I kind of went back to play Metroid Dread and uh, doing the hardest difficulty. It's not fun. But man, is it satisfying whenever you get past a certain, like... Whenever you get past a certain point. What the hell's with this? Okay. Oh, never mind. There's more grass. I thought that was, like, only one piece of grass over here, but apparently there is more. My bad. I thought there was something wrong here. But, um... It has, like, a, that Dark Souls feeling where you get past a certain hard part, and then it's just so satisfying whenever you do. Like, because you spend hours on it. I haven't beaten it on the hardest difficulty yet, but I'm going to whenever I get around to it. <sighs> Ooh, hello. Oh well. Oh my god, even the music sounds really good. I wonder, was this built upon, like, from the ground up, or did they, like, take the engine that they used for, um, uh, Zero Mission and kind of built upon it? I, I'm actually kind of curious about the development of this, if, like, people that are much more knowledgeable about this, I would like to kind of learn a little bit more, because... I've always been interested in fan projects like this, and I can tell, like, this is a labor of love. Like, I'm, this, you can't look at this and tell me that this wasn't made with pure respect and love for Metroid as a whole. In my, like, seriously. Also, those are enemies, apparently. I like these enemy designs, they're really cool! Sorry, I'm just... Oh god, I love it. I am... I am... I, I feel like I'm playing a fresh new Metroid game after... After Dread. And I'm enjoying every minute of it! Woo! Well... At least the lava wasn't unforgiving. It could have easily been, like, rapid. Like, much faster, but thankfully, thankfully it wasn't. Oh my god, okay. A scanning environment. Hey! Four Metroids detected in the area. Nice! Good. 
This is before I adopted a Metroid, so I'm going to be sure to- ah. Fuck you! Rude. That looks like a freaking copy of Samus' helmet and her ship. Like a freaking bug mimicking her ship. Ex Parasite Samus' ship. Oh my god, that'd be terrifying, actually. Can you imagine, like, a sentient ship suddenly chasing you? These kind of look like they were taken out of Zero Mission. Can't change me. Scanning environment. The Golden Temple. This temple stands at the base of a hollow mountain. The statues carved stones and its solid design attest that the structure was built to be a sanctuary. Possibly with religious significance. The temple has withstood the test of time, showing the building knowledge and the experience of the Chozo. The scans detect the presence of stationary robotic entities placed at strategic points inside the structure. No control signals are detected. These units are operating autonomously. Hm. Very well, then. Actually, come to think of it, let me check something. Okay. There's a lower area that I can check. I'm going to go down there. Well, then again, I did waste my time doing all this, huh? Never mind. I'll check this area first, then. Behold, Rainbow Mouth. Aha! The arm gave me extra distance. Hmm. Can I do the wall jump? Can. Okay. That means there's gonna be wall jump puzzles. Which tells me I'm gonna suck miserably. But I do suck at those. I suck at those a lot. Oh god, yeah, this is this is definitely using those assets. Which is good. Hmm. Oh! There's a doorway over here. Hello? Oh, that shattering was good. I need a morph ball bomb before I can do that. Oh, this music though. God, who composed this music? I've only heard like two, three tracks already and it sounds great. Like, give me a minute, I could just literally just be playing this music while I'm in the middle of drawing something in my sketchbook. <laughs> God, that is satisfying. More ball. More ball. Bum. Yosha. Sorry, I'm just. Ugh. Oh wow, no, those no that that no, that's fast. Wait a minute. Was, well, I wasn't there before. Hold on. Oh, I see. Not bad. Exercise to teach you how to use the morph ball. I just realized, how the hell was I going to get back up there without using the morph ball? Equally smart. Oh, wait a minute. 
Yes. What else we got? Wait a minute. Those are oddly colored. Aha! What the fuck is that? Yo! Dude! God, that is cool! There's a Metroid somewhere around here. It's in the next room, ain't it? It totally is. Or it's down here? Oh, hold up. So I can still do this. Oh, wait, I can just do this. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Spider Ball already? Oh. Hmm. Yo. I really need to stop doing that. Wait, can I just... Okay, I can, okay. I wanna make sure that I could. <laughs> oh, right. I mean, I probably shouldn't do that just to be safe. Okay. Ah, I see. The Metroid's up here, ain't it? Yeah, it probably went up in this room. Or, oh, there it is. Ah! Holy crap, okay. This is not easy. For the record, there's something about it just being at your eye level to where you have to be really, you gotta be smart. And I'm a stupid person. I am not good with smart stuff. Well, I mean, except for maybe this, but I need to just say, I am dumb. I am very, 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 very dumb. I guess I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Can't catch me, little bat.
I just fucking noticed what I just did there. Oh, that is cool. So, instead of giving me the damn message like it usually does, it just, uh... Oh... Holy shit, that is... That is a quality of life moment right there. What the hell? It does look like I need some sort of beam that lets me hit all three, right? Haha! Hmm. -ha! I cheesed it! How you like them apples? Who needs a multi-hitting beam when you can cheese it like that? <laughs> Anyway. Ow. Rude prick. Okay, so I'm I'm back up in this room. Okay. Uh let's go back for a minute. There's something I want to go look at. Also, Haha. <laughs> anyway! There's like a crack in that ground there. I'm kind of wondering what uh, what I missed by um, not being able to uh, do that over there. Can I climb the walls over here? Okay, I was kind of hoping I could do that. <laughs> no! God damn it! <laughs> ah, the power of the Morph Ball Bomb Cheese! You'll never be able to underestimate my ability. You underestimate my abilities, games. I can't even get the goddamn badass phrase correctly. Anyway. <clears throat> I made my way back up top here. How does that make you feel? Actually, wait a minute. There's... No, wait, no. Hello? Is there anything I can grab over here? No, there probably isn't. Okay, let's see. So, according to the map, the only other place I haven't checked is going back to the down area. If I had to guess, that's probably where the rest of the Metroids are. There's actually two down areas that I haven't checked yet, now that I think about it. Um... Let's see, where's the save room? Save room's back over there. Okay, um, let's just go this way. There's the other statue. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's go and uh, let's go and see my progress. I want to see my progress first. Alrighty. Good. 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 Gum drops. Let's keep going. I'm gonna be a badass. Ow! Wait, wait! I got too cocky again. I didn't stop that. <laughs> Whew. Okay, okay. Uh. All right. I swear it's gonna take me. Get, it's gonna take me a while to get used to the new controls. Hmm. Ah! Oh, damn it! Oh! 
Nice hiding place. Ah. Oof. I will end you! Nice! Wait, hold the phone. Looks like it's supposed to be a secret there, but okay. Anyway. Whoa. I was wondering why the hell that wasn't working. Same sound effects as um Yeah, that kinda sounds like it was from Zero Mission. Nice! I'm kinda glad they used that as a basis if so. Ooh. What? Oh my god. They brought back one of the most useful features in the Prime games where you charge up your beam and bring in the items that you need to recover. Oh. My god. They actually brought it in. It's almost like these guys know what Metroid fans want. Good lord. Man, this might actually help me against the Metroids. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I'll find something to do with this. Alright, so I guess the next thing I could probably do is go back to the previous area and go down that way, because I still have only found one Metroid in this, in this particular place. I... These developers are way too fucking cool. They even did this. Oh my god. These the, the vegan people who made this are goddamn awesome, man. Holy shit. <clears throat> even the even, okay, we even have the freaking screw attack. The charge beam screw attack, at least. <laughs> anyway. Alright. We got three more Metroids to look for. They're probably in this area, if I had to guess. Well, that answered my question. Wait, can I charge it? Oh, 
that's fine. Barely doing damage. Oh, that's if I want to escape. Scanning environment. <clears throat> this area spawns a custom-built ecosystem that favors the growth of Metroids. The terrain itself is dangerous. Tendrils growing along the ground release extremely corrosive chemicals. Opportunistic predators and scavengers can recognize us as an ideal feeding ground, taking advantage of injured or dead animals. The presence of at least one Metroid is expected when venturing in these habitats. The tendrils are determined to be an artificial origin. Synthesized through technologically advanced methods, they absorb nutrients from dead matter. Got it. Oh boy. Hello? Whoa! I was about to say, what the hell is that all about? Hmm. Alright then. I guess that's it. Well, that's another Metroid down. In an area that has a very long, this runaway, interestingly enough. Hmm. It may not be easy for me, considering it feels much more fast-paced, I can at least forgive it because it still feels doable. Except for whenever I land in the vines like an absolute... Can I stop being dumb? Actually, that's a very... You know what? That's a very stupid question. Of course I can't stop being dumb. I'm me! Ow. Asking me to stop being dumb? Really? I am big boy dumb. There you are. What do you want to do about it? As a fig. I bet you it was over here. I bet. If I had a gun for a gaze. That is my. That is my assumption, one would say. However. Drunk cuts. Anyway, I feel like that's a pretty good place for me to take a break for right now. I've actually been kind of going at it for like an hour now, and I'm running out of time right now. Okay. Um, I am going to... Why does it say 30 minutes? I've been at this for longer than 30 minutes. That's 
Oh, pausing stops the counter, I see. Okay, I, I had to pause it so many times. Okay, um... Hmm. This is already off to a damn good start. Uh, I think it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to the fast-paced combat. I will say, though, if I'm able to, I'm gonna try to do more than one episode of this game a week. Because I'm pretty sure one episode a week will probably... Actually, I don't know how long this game is actually going to be. I think it's just gonna be up until I defeat all the Metroids. So, honestly, I want to enjoy this goddamn game as much as I possibly can. So if it does take a little bit longer, that's fine, I think, in, in my personal opinion. It'll get me prepared for uh, whenever I do another Metroid game, which will be probably Metroid Hunters. So, if you all like this, be sure to let me know. I hope you're all as excited for this as I am. I'm going to try to get as much information about the developers as I can, unless they're not wanting me to because Nintendo might attack them, in which case I'm not entirely sure how I want to approach this. But, uh, um, to thank you all very much for watching, and, um, I want to try to give this as much respect as I possibly can. So, um, uh, right off the bat, lore entry, the, listen, you give me lore, I will just be the happiest little sorcerer on this planet. Just gonna let you know that. You give me lore. And you just throw that at me, and I just absolutely just <clears throat> love it. Regardless, it's very fast-paced so far. It'll take me a little bit to get used to, though. But I think I can pull it off. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're happy with this. I know I am. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. Whenever I, uh, return to being a, pri a little bounty hunter. Yeah, 50 Metroids to go through. Delightful.